Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Lon Paul here. We're going to have your Weekend Anomaly mission. A little late, of course. I like to come out with these on Friday nights, but... Um, yeah, that didn't quite work out the way I planned, so we're going to be coming out with it here on Saturday morning. And at the same time you're getting this, you're probably uh, going to be getting the live stream that we're going to be doing. So, yep, there's that. But this is how things work sometimes. So let's get this Anomaly mission going in. As you can see, I'm just loading up right now for the first time today on No Man's Sky, so this takes a couple extra seconds longer. Uh, let's see, today is the 17th, so this is for the weekend of the 16th through the 18th of August 2024. Okay, and we are just reappearing. Here we go. So we're going to go immediately into our ship. We're using our stealth gunship, that I call it anyway. It's got the stealth paint job is the reason why. That's why it's called stealth, so. There we go. All right, got a nice, pretty tropical planet right in front of us. So I'll be checking out that later on. Let's go ahead and pull in the anomaly and see what the mission has in store for us today. Ooh, talk about timing, huh? There we go. Multiplayer is turned off, so you're not going to see any other players in here doing a lot of speed running lately on the Liquidators Expedition, so as you know, gotta have your multiplayer off for that because it can cause problems. Anyway, let's get started here. So our anomaly mission is, as you can see by the blue symbol up above, blue screen, I guess. Friendly products, collect five Hadal cores. Okay, that's an unusual thing to have to collect. So let me just check my inventory, because if you already got it in your inventory, you can complete this really fast. So on my exosuit, I'm checking for Hadal cores. Hadal cores look very odd, and I don't think I carry those on a regular basis, no. You also want to check your freighter. I check its made inventory. Don't even pay attention to all the eggs I have in here, and all the parts, just ignore all that. Um, I do not see any Hadal cores. Okay, great. So, and the freighter's not in the system. If it was, you'd have the ability to go to all your cargo containers that are in your, uh, in your ship, but we don't have that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select this mission. Collect Hadal cores, huh? There's two ways to collect these, so let me see if it sticks to the mission. A lot of times, and we'll get a, a starship battery, uh, some nanites, that's great, but it's the 1800 Quicksilver you're after. So I'm going to go ahead and start this mission. The reason I'm saying what I'm saying, though, there's a possibility the mission could change. It's telling us to get friendly products. That's fine. Let's see what product it changes it to. Because sometimes it'll change it to a different product while you're on your way. So as we exit the anomaly, it's going to kick us into hyperspace, of course, and we're going to be ending up at some random system of the choosing of Hello Games. Or as we just like to say, Sean Murray's uh, you know, mind has told us this is where we're going. I'm sure he had lots to do with this particular mission, right? No, you know the programming department also had something to do with it, and actually, for the most part, they're the ones who had something to do with it. Autonomous control. There we go. I have no idea what system that is. Okay, it's just going to tell us where we need to be going. Uh, as you can see with the icon there. Normally. Nope, oh, nope, it's directing us all the way back up here. Oh, so you. Ah, so it is going to stick on the really paradise planet, too. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I may have to stick around this place and check it out. Let's see what kind of planet we got. Alright, well, no floating islands. Or flowers or anything like that, so it's just a, fl a floating, floating place. Okay, great. Now, again... We have. We don't have to end up in the exact same spot. It'll tell us that as we get close. Hold on. Maybe it is telling us to go somewhere specific. Looks like we have a freighter here. Ooh. Okay. So we do have to land here. Now, a little trick about freighters. An underwater freighter. If you look, you'll see that there's a piece of the freighter sticking up over here. If you're fortunate, you can land right on the top edge of this. You gotta go slow. And of course, if you have the ability to land on water, you can just land on the water. If you land on water, you need a special item that you can now get. It's in here. Hold on, Starship. Uh, let's see. It's on our landing gear. 
Let's see, that's efficient thrusters. I don't have them installed. How dare I not do that yet? There it is. The aqua jets is what you need. Magnetic resonators, antimatter, and crystal sulfides. So we'll get that done in a little bit here. I can probably make at least one more of those right now. There we go. So we have three, but I'll need the crystal sulfide. So I need how many was it again? Four? Yeah. So I'll grab those since we're going to be underwater anyway, right? All right. So let's head in. So it doesn't seem to be directing us towards that spot. Interesting. Anyway, um, so I guess we can just pretty much go anywhere. All right, it's telling us to go this way. Let me see what it's looking for. Armored clam? Ah, you'll notice it says to collect living pearls instead. Told you it would change it up. I told you it would change it up. All right, so living pearls is what we need instead. You will need certain things in your exosuit. <clears throat> for instance, you usually have your, you know, your jetpack stuff that you have in here, right? Everything's good here. Um, oh. Just ignore me for a second here. Hold on. How does it get that moving along? Anyway, um, you do need things in your exosuit in order to help you underwater. You can stay underwater for a good period of time without any problems. But the problem is, is that you definitely need, uh, for instance, this. Underwater oxygen upgrade. Okay, it'll keep you protected underwater for lengths of time. It doesn't have to be near anything else, but as long as you have one, you should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. Into the sea. Two ways you can collect your pearls, and I'll talk about Hadal cores in a second too, because it's worth our time. So here is one of the clams. You can, let's see, mining beam. Okay, good. You can shoot it with a mining beam. Don't get too close, and then collect the living pearl. Okay, let's go for another one. It's directing us towards the closest ones. I don't know why it keeps doing this. There must be another one right below me. I don't see one. Okay. I don't really like this at all. 193. Let's see where the other ones are. Let's go to this one. It seems to be out in the ocean a little bit further. And you're going to spend a bunch of time under the water swimming around, so just go ahead and move around. This does not have the most... Uh, the greatest thing in the world. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when you get too close to these and you try to open them, okay? If you get too close and you shoot them... It'll hit you and damage you. And then when it closes back up again, see? Now, you want a simpler way to do it? Go into first person view. Whoop, and then your menu, settings, right here. I have mine set to a hotkey number two. And you, all you need to do is get close. Right? Oh my gosh, it they, they nerfed it. You used to be able to just pick them up. You can't do that anymore, apparently. Okay, so we learned something new today. Let me just check. Nope. They won't let you do that anymore. They've nerfed that. Well, I'll be. So you have to shoot them. They got it. Fascinating. All right. Now, when I go into this, you'll notice that my oxygen is now running low. Recharge it with either oxygen or one of your life support gels. There we go. Okay. 133... 30... Okay, let's go over there. So I need 12 of these. Now one thing I'm also going to show you is I'll show you about Hadal cores. I'm going into the standard uh, setting here. And I'll show you those in a moment. Looks like I've got a squiddy running around. A eel. Okay, there's one right there. There we go, four. Show you something about the Hadal cores if I can find them. Hadal cores can be can be retrieved from alluring specimens. This here. So the alluring specimens you can gather in the front. You've been seeing us do it in the um, expedition. You've probably done it yourself, right? And the alluring specimens are kind of a pain in the neck because every time you get one, you have to fight the creature most of the time. Uh, if you're if you're fortunate and you're gathering them from the plant, you're trying to get a whole bunch of them. You will uh, most likely have a little trouble with it. I don't know if that guy's going to attack me like the squiddies tend to like to attack. Okay. 
So when you go after these, and I'm going to switch over to my bolt caster. Oh, I have a, obviously have a multi-tool that isn't working. recharge that. Okay, so that way we have it for future reference. So see, that's what happens. And then the plan is devoid of all the things that you could, could have gotten on. Sometimes you can get more than one. But if you look through here, look for something else that has two stars. If you can find them, that is. I don't think I'm going to find them today, right? We'll see if we can find them in a moment. But while we're here, I'm going to grab some of these uh, crystal sulfides. I got some in my inventory of my cargo container. Go grab three of those from that one. <coughs> Said there's another one right over here. I'll grab those. I just want to grab some more of these real quick. There we go. I don't need any more. All right. Every now and then, looking at the floor, you can find a, a device that has two stars on it. If you do find this device, what that device is, is a hadle core. And you can gather them yourself. So, a little something you can do. All right, let's go for lambs here. I got one right behind me, real close. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're only up to four, so I've got to go look, grab the left, uh, rest of these real quick. You don't have to open them up with a, with a laser if you don't want to. You can use anything, really, to open them up. I'll, I'll grab the laser. Alright, what do we got? I don't know where things the nearest clam is right now, but it looks like it's directly underneath me. That's not going to help. I'll have to dig to get to it. Um, I want to head in the direction of my ship in some way. So let me go to this one, I think. Occasionally, and you don't, for, to get the clams, occasionally you don't have to be really close, or in, pardon me, in very deep water. Sometimes you can be in a lake. And it'll be easier to find them sometimes, and you don't have to dive as deep. Because my uh, jetpack and everything is upgraded beyond belief, everybody knows this. I can boost myself into space from a, you know, low atmo planet, but because I happen to have a pretty good jetpack, I don't have to worry about uh, uh, recharging it too, fat, too often. Now, sometimes, if you're also fortunate, these things will come in clumps. You'll get like two or three right around each other. Looks like we got a whole bunch sitting right here. Yeah, see? Look at that. See? Happens to all of us. We're up to eight. Looks like there's a ninth one right here. A lot of time underwater this time. There we go. Looks like I think, I think we got one more to go, right? Is there one really close by here? Nope, there is. Oh. Should be it, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, and I just gotta do my famous, hey, where's my ship? There we go. seen that happen before. Hey, look, I'm swimming with the eels. I suppose you can give me a boost like in Minecraft, like the dolphins do, do you? No? No, just wiggle away. Go ahead. Alright. Ah, nighttime in the ocean. Yeah, that's not frightening at all. Sorry, I do have an aversion towards deep oceans. I don't mind being able to see to the bottom. I mean, that actually helps, but out in the ocean, man. I don't know what it is, but I've got a fear for that. You've learned something new about me today. Alright, looks like we're coming up on our ship, and you see it's directing us to a drop point for this, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, there we 
There's our ship. And you know we're going to install our aqua jets while we're here, right? Let's go in here. I got a spot just right for it right there. And we got everything we need now. So boom. There we go. We now have aqua jets. So now we can land on the ocean. So basically I can now land anywhere I want. And you now can land on water. And that's it. See? That's simple. When you exit your ship, you appear on top of your ship. That was one of the things they ended up doing. Alright, so let's head over there and do our drop real quick. Now, Hadal cores, like I said, are just a pain in the neck to find. Normally, on most planets, you'll see them very easily. Why do I have hostile ships? Because I'm carrying goods. So it looks like we have to fight some pirates here, folks. Now, my guns are very powerful, so... I don't know why I can't hit him. Here. Who's next? That was it? That was it. Okay, so we had to fight some pirates. They wanted to gather our materials. Alright. And the delivery seems to be right here. Very good. This is probably, it says approximate location, but usually it's a landing platform. There it is. Okay. You can do a scan, look for some place that you can't see. That happens on occasion, but here we are. All right, there we go. Got an angry cat in here who wants to be let out, so we'll be letting him out in just a moment. All right. And there we go. Delivery lockbox prepared. Accessing. This must be Polo's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. And I see it took 10 living pearls, not 12. So you got to keep two. And there we go. The only thing we need to do now is return to the Nexus, as it says at the bottom right, to receive our reward. So off we go. Back to the Nexus. Now again, I'm probably going to explore this system. I am um, let's try that again. There we go. Don't like to pull it into the middle of an asteroid field. That just it bothers me. There we go. Interesting looking system, I'll tell you that. I do want to explore it more, so I'm probably going to get around here. And we have come in for a lap. We're all set. Go. As we head back to our nexus inside the anomaly, we'll get our reward. Let's see where we are. There we go. Complete the mission. 1800 Quicksilver. And there it is. And as usual, we're going to check the Quicksilver vendor to see what's available because I think we've got everything. The only things that we're not getting right now are going to be number one, is what we want to choose here is these liquidator stuff that we're getting from the expedition itself. I'm going to get the right arm because I uh, haven't gathered it yet. We haven't opened up the fifth item yet, I think. Oh, no, no, we did. We did, we did. This is the last item because the first one is the jetpack that I'm using right now. Excellent, excellent. So we've got all the items. C tier 5 is now complete for the liquidator's expedition. Great job, folks. We're about uh, two and a half weeks in advance of this, so this is fantastic. Great job, great job. So we got everything. There's a bunch of other stuff you can get if you wish, but there we go. Right arm is complete. Awesome. I'm going to check that out at another later date, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're doing good. We're doing good. The expedition has got, uh, let's see, starting from this coming Monday, you've got two more weeks to complete it, so you should have plenty of time. Please watch me in my uh, speed runs. We've got a lot of speedruns going on right now. Everybody, Jason has the record time as of this moment, as of the recording of this video, at one hour and two minutes. I'm right behind him at an hour three. Can we break an hour? Can anybody break an hour? We'll see. We'll see. But I want to do a save point real quick. There we go. So we're all saved here. Excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Of course, if you like what you've been seeing, costs you nothing to subscribe. So... Really appreciate you being here and appreciate all your support. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week in the next Anomaly video. Take care, everybody.